Why, hello there, everybody. Welcome back to Harvest Moon. More Friends of Mineral Town. In this video, I'm pretty much just going to do the spring update. Now, a couple of things. Uh, last video, I do believe I went and did the horse races. Um, when I posted the video, you guys gave me a lot of feedback. Um, as to some confusion I had in the video and also some more information about those viewing about jewels of truth and things like that So thank you for that uh, very much appreciated since that will probably be the last horse racing video that I do I played a couple days decided not to do the cooking festival I think it was something like desserts and I just really don't have a lot of stuff for that I mean I have uh, vegetables and stuff on my farm but nothing I could really make like a tasty <laughs> sort of dessert out of I don't think so I just decided to skip it um, I'm just not ready for it I'll do it when I do it don't worry about it I'm not gonna forget to show it off it's just not really a good time to do so so I've gone ahead and I've played a uh, about a week and a bit, because uh, the horse racing festival is on the 18th and it's now the 26th, I think. Um, the reason I haven't been recording, and for those of you who are fans of my Facebook page will know this, um, is that my controller actually broke and playing this game on a keyboard is really difficult um, just because you use pretty much every single button that you would on a Game Boy. So I've had to map a lot of the buttons really weirdly and my arm, <laughs> my back injury doesn't allow me to sit here and like type on a keyboard for long periods of time so that's why I've been stalling just a little bit of, of an update before I begin the video so anyways not a uh, whole lot has been going on in spring but there are a few kind of things I wanted to do uh, first thing I'm gonna do is remember to bring a cucumber because as many of you have pointed out I haven't shown off who Kappa is now I didn't forget um, but we're going to do that today. So we're going to go visit Kappa. You need a cucumber to visit him. As you can see, my kitchen, I recently ordered the mixer, and I think I only have to get two more cooking utensils, which is awesome, because I'm so sick of having to buy all these cooking utensils I never use. I just want to get the big bed, and I just want to get married. I don't think that's too much to ask for, or maybe it is, I don't know. So anyways, that is that. Um, on the farm, I actually kind of just stopped growing stuff. I think these top four areas were turnips. Uh, I harvested those and I just kind of have left them for the time being. I've got one of the sprites watering for me and I have the other one um, harvesting. So I don't have to do any watering or collecting because I'm a huge lazy bum. Uh, and the sprite does it for me. So which is really nice. I guess these are potatoes, I think. So I'm basically getting the sprites to do uh, cheap labor for me, which is uh, <laughs> quite nice, actually. Uh, one of the sprites, I think the one that's watering, I know the red one's name is Chief, but for some reason I can't remember the purple one's name. Bold, maybe? I feel bad. Anyways, I think his watering level is like really, really good by, at this point, which is really awesome. Chickens, um, it actually hasn't rained pretty much all season. I think there's been one or two days it's actually uh, like rained in spring which is really nice because I've been able to keep my chickens outside and it hasn't um, really done me any I guess bad. It hasn't rained or anything. Um, as many of you who have also pointed out you can actually use your horse as a portable rucksack. If you ride him you can actually toss things onto the side of his little, I don't know, it looks like he has like little pockets or something. You can actually throw items um, onto your horse and use him as a shipping bin. I didn't point that out when I got the horse, uh, but I can't remember who it was that pointed that out, but I just thought I'd mention that as well. Uh, for those of you who didn't know that. Um, yeah, I've been growing a lot of cucumbers, obviously. Uh, mostly for Kappa, but also because they are a wonderful... Um, no, I was just about to say fruit. A wonderful vegetable for the season. Yeah, you can tell I'm rusty. I haven't recorded in a while. I think I also want to go check with Gots if he's around. He doesn't usually come around till 10 or 11, I don't think. But every time I try to go visit him, he's never here. And it's kind of annoying, actually. It's a Friday, so he should be there eventually. Um, but, I guess, while we wait for him, we will go to the lake and we will meet Kappa. There he goes back to his house now. 
So Kappa is another one of these special sort of uh, hidden bachelors, and the only way that you can meet Kappa is to throw a cucumber into the lake. As you can see, if I throw one, he's all like, ah, and he's, a, I don't know, he's such a weird looking creature. Who would want to marry this thing? Is this even a person? This is some freaky mythical creature thing going on in Harvest Moon. Ugh weird. Anyway, so giving him cucumbers is the only way to meet him. He will not respond if you toss anything else into the lake. Um, he has a hidden heart level, so if you do want to marry him, um, there's a hidden heart level. You cannot see, like, if it's, you know, black, purple, etc, etc. Um, what else about him? There's also another bunch of really weird requirements, like you have to get all the Kappa jewels, and I think you have to fish, or ship every type of fish in the game. I am working, or I have been working on for like months now, um, a Bachelor video, but since we just met Kappa, who's the last of the Bachelors, I will actually get around to posting that video soon. There's a couple more things about him that I missed, but he's kind of like the last character that I... I hadn't really shown off in the game and I felt kind of bad for that. You can meet him uh, in any season except for winter, so... Uh, gods. So, as I also found out, uh, you can only have 999 of uh, wood in your bag at one time. Here I was trying to uh, like chop a bunch of wood and get my numbers up, but it stops at 999, so I actually have the max amount of wood that I can have um, right now. The only problem is that everything is really, really expensive. I do want to get a bathtub in my house, but 30,000 gold is really ridiculous. I just, I don't know, I think that's really expensive. Um, I don't really need an extra chicken coop. I guess I could get more chickens at this point. It is kind of time for me to get another animal. But I just don't really feel like it. I haven't really had much of a problem uh, just keeping the amount of chickens I have don't really feel like remodeling my barn because I don't have anything in my barn. Vacation home obviously costs way too friggin much. Uh, I think the only way that people get this is through a cheat. I don't think it's like reasonable to get this on your own. Um, you can also remodel your window, your doghouse, and your mailbox. I think I talked about this but I didn't show it off. So you can actually change the outside look of your house if you want. Um, I did show off the mailbox. I have, I think it's called the strange or the weird mailbox. Yeah, it's called the strange. Um, but I don't know why these things cost so much. It costs so much money for this stuff. I don't know. I Again, I really don't know why, but it does. Which is why I haven't made a whole lot of aesthetic changes. Um, even changing like your windows is 25,000 gold, which is just ridiculous. So when I actually get to be like a powerful tyrant with a bunch of money, I will just go and I'll get all those house extensions at once and just say screw it. I mean, not at once, because gods can't do all that work at one time, but you know what I mean. Alright, so I think that's about it for all of the... Mostly cap I want to show off in this video. The last two bigger pieces of news that I think are pretty exciting uh, to show off is that I actually have every single bachelor, with the exception of Kai and the special ones, up to a red heart. So if I can find Kai and Cliff as proof, I will show you guys. Um, now a few of you were also asking about the special bachelors, which I'll get to in a minute. But you can see Cliff is like ecstatic to see us and we changed his life around and he's so happy and you know wants to be like us and you know I think through this playthrough and people's words and stuff I think I like Cliff more than I did before but I my heart is still set on gray I still really like him so Cliff's definitely at a red heart and so is Gray. So, yeah, I really actually don't have to give out gifts anymore. I'm so bored almost. It's weird. I don't have to carry around pieces of wood in my bag anymore. I don't have to give Cliff eggs or Rick eggs and hear him talk about how much he loves chickens, strangely, and give Doctor pieces of grass. Yeah, it's, it's kind of weird. Um, 
So yeah, that's that's about it. When Kai comes, we are going to be giving him presents. I think I already have it prepared for summer uh, in my bag, or in my box actually, well my box, my toolbox. Uh, I actually have four things of pineapple seeds which I can use to just unload a bunch of gifts onto him. Now pineapples have something really crazy like a 21 day growth period so it's gonna be really hard to give him gifts at the beginning of the season and then kinda just load a bunch of pineapple seeds on him or pineapples rather at the end of the year or end of the season but we will do that. Another thing, speaking of Kai, is that I actually checked my mailbox randomly uh, because my mail keeps getting piled up and Kai actually sent me cookies <laughs> in the mail, which is really gross and weird. That They'd be so stale and disgusting. Ugh. And because of that, this is another event that kind of throws me off because um, I had said in the video that you have to have a certain amount of hearts with a bachelor before they will bring cookies to you. Um, and then somebody else said that they don't, they bring cookies to you if you gave them uh, chocolate in the winter event. But Kai's not here um, in winter, so I can't give him cookies. And he also, I think, only has a purple heart. So, I don't know. I mean, maybe he's just thinking of us or following the crowd, doesn't want to be left out. I don't know. Either way, uh, I kind of forgot to mention that and I didn't even realize that happened myself until I, um, I looked in my mailbox. But um, going back to the special bachelors, I guess I'll just run around in a big circle while I talk about this. Um, somebody had asked me to do a bunch of videos on special bachelors. I don't think that I will just because I really don't like to cheat in games. So people always give me hints about cheats and stuff, but I don't like to use them. It just They take the fun out of games and I think they're really silly. Um, unless you just wanted to see something for the sake of seeing it. But like starting out this game with everything already built to me is just really pointless. Um, so I might, uh, I'll definitely do the video with uh, Juan, Gourmets, and Kappa special requirements and gifts that they like, but I don't know if I'll get around to doing the events. So in case I haven't established that before, I'm establishing it now just to let everybody know. So that is it for that. Um, I think the last thing I'll show off is my menu. And then that will be about it. For the video, I'm really, really looking forward to summer, and I'm really looking forward to hopefully getting a new controller in the mail, because unless I... I mean, I just played this thing for five days before I recorded, uh, but unless I had recorded for a couple days, I would be totally screwing up on my controls. I'm just really not used to playing with a keyboard, but... Alright. Getting a little late now went ahead and got pretty much all my scavenging done for the day. I'm really run running out of things to do because I can't get any more um, lumber. I'm full up on lumber, but I can't afford an upgrade. I don't have to give out gifts anymore because everybody's at a red heart. Um, and yeah, once I'm and my harvest sprites are like doing all my work for me, so it's like a really like re relaxed kind of laid back sort of time. I kind of maybe just do some fishing, uh, go around and talk to some other villagers, um, chop grass, like you know things like that. So um, I think the weather channel said it was going to be sunny tomorrow. Oh no, it's going to be raining. Well, that will give me something to do for the rest of the video. Actually, no, I'm not going to waste time doing that. I have to go put my chickens inside, but this video is getting a little, a little lengthy, so I'll just cut it off here as soon as I show you guys my menu. Alright, so uh, in my menu, you can see I've got um, a crown for horse now that he has won the horse race. I've also got two rings. Um, one of them was from the Starry Night Festival. I can't remember. I think everybody gave me a ring, actually. Um, I have those events recorded, and I'll put them up. So I've got one ring from the festival and another one when Doctor gave me a ring at the Spring Thanksgiving, uh, yeah, Spring Thanksgiving Festival. Um, I, it seems like I'm not the only one who's really confused about the rings. A lot of you have just said they don't do anything. They're just there to be aesthetically pleasing, which I think is really silly. But apparently they don't do anything. They're just there to show how much of a trophy girl you are in the village, I guess. Um, you can see I have the max amount of uh, pieces of lumber 
which is awesome. I haven't had to buy bird feed in forever, which is awesome because I've just left my chickens outside and they just eat, um, I guess, worms from the dirt outside, which is pretty cool. All my chickens are healthy, which is great. Um, they actually have quite a few hearts for me and they really have been doing much better than they were in winter. I'm so thankful. I haven't had to spend any money on medicine or anything whatsoever. Uh, yeah, it is Bold. I didn't forget his name. I was right. Now I don't feel as bad. Yeah, but you can see Bold I have been using as my watering sprite, so he actually has quite a bit um, of work done in the watering section, as well as um, Chief, or Chef, Chief, whatever. Um, I get him to do all of my collecting, or my my harvesting rather so um, he is actually getting quite up there as well there was another sprite I used to use I thought but maybe not it's either that or their, or their levels drop I'm not too sure anyways yeah so those two are kinda like my main harvest sprites mainly because their grass color is so easy to find um, you can see so far I have actually made more profit than I have uh, spent which is really good I've made about uh, nine thousand dollars profit which you know I can't complain about definitely not as profitable as some seasons but again um, still doing much better than I was in winter so I'm really happy about that um, I did upgrade my uh, axe I got it up to mistral so I now have a um, mistral hoe axe or not hoe I have a silver hoe I need to get a gold hoe uh, sounds really weird when I say it like that. Um, I have a Mistral Sickle, Mistral Axe, Mistral uh, Hammer, and Mistral Watering Can. So I have all those tools pretty much fully upgraded. I have to get my fishing rod up to silver, which I've been trying to do. I've really been trying to fish, but I hate fishing in this game. And I can start upgrading my uh, hoe more, which is pretty cool. So that's all I wanted to show off in the menu. That's pretty much all that I've been doing. And I'm just going to play up until summer, which hopefully should be a little more eventful. We can give more presents to Kai and maybe see how much those pineapples are worth if I actually grow any. And hopefully maybe some other exciting events will happen. So that's about it for me, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time.